This is Dan from Dan's Urban Survival and Prepping, and I wanted to talk about a mindset issue. Marauders. What exactly are they? And is there more to the idea of marauders than what is openly said in most videos that discuss them? So let's get started. First of all, I want to give my definition of what I would consider a marauder. To me, a marauder would be any individual who knowingly came into my residence, my area, after an SHTF with the idea of causing physical harm to me, my family, in order to take the preparations that I have put together to mitigate the circumstances of an SHTF situation. Let's use for an example my next door neighbor. If my next door neighbor John comes to my house after an SHTF situation and asks, do you have any food? And I tell him, no, I don't have anything I can spare. I just have enough for my, me and my family. I'm sorry I can't help you. And he walks away. If the next day John comes to my house, then I can only assume that his purpose is to forcibly take that which I have set aside for my family or my group. Now, does that mean that that assumption is correct? That's when we get into the little gray area. Because we have no way of knowing or ascertaining the true intent of any person who may approach us or our homestead or residence, whatever it may be, after an SHTF event. We will have to rely heavily on our gut instinct and the attitude and demeanor of the person approaching our residents. I am far more concerned with the individuals that I have met at prepping conventions and how to do this skill meetings that are all preppers, that are all members of mags and different kinds of groups I am far more concerned with those individuals who know for a fact that I am a prepper deciding to come and try to forcibly take preps in an SHTF event than I am of the people who live on the other side of town as many talk about grouping together to break into houses and steal food. The reason for this is quite simple. By the time people are hungry enough to consider such a plan, they will also be hungry enough that there's no way they will be able to come together cohesively enough to even break into houses as a group, and even if they did, to be able to share that without infighting and killing each other. So I'm way more concerned with other preppers who are aware that I am a prepper or that you are a prepper. I would be more worried about what they might do in order to fill up their supplies. And I know, I know, preppers are good people. Homesteaders are great people, and they are right now. But in an SHTF situation, when things become desperate, when things become difficult, when it's life and death, who's, set, who's to say what an individual will do when you're faced with watching your child starve to death or watching your wife starve to death or whatever the case may be? 
when it becomes real and the realization hits you that there is no consequence to taking these actions other than the possibility of a bullet and you have bullets too then that mindset changes things that you would not even consider now in an SHTF situation you may very well seriously consider those things let's carry that example to a little bit outside the box your supplies have been taken or you've lost them or you've gone through them your children are slowly starving and you find food in a house and as you're packing up that food someone jumps out and says hey those are mine would you let your children starve because of this individual or would you take whatever steps were necessary in order to make sure that your children lived I'd like to hear what you guys have to think about it this is Dan from Dan's Urban Survival and Prepping look forward to your comments below and until next time guys take care of each other and as always guys I look forward to your comments below and for more content like this please subscribe thanks very much and have a great day